I'm Chip Bach, and welcome to Blue Rock. On each episode, we'll discuss what life is like on this big blue rock, where we are all headed, separately and together, what changes we need to make to ourselves, the planet, and towards each other, and just discuss what daily life is like for your fellow crew. And maybe, just maybe, we may also see a commonality that connects all of us. All right, welcome to another episode of Blue Rock. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a word that's pretty near and dear to my heart, as many of you may know. It's the word aloha. So what is aloha? The definition of aloha is not just hello and goodbye. Vocabulary.com defines aloha as the Hawaiian word for love, affection, peace, compassion, and mercy that is commonly used as a simple greeting but has a deeper cultural, spiritual significance to native Hawaiians for whom the term is used to define a force that holds together all of existence. But what is the true meaning of aloha? It's the presence of breath. The term aloha derives from Proto-Polynesia and dates back to the early 1800s. When you break it down, the literal translation translates into alo, meaning presence, and ha, meaning breath. Together, the word aloha translates to presence of breath or breath of life, which is in connection to the planet, nature, and to each other on this big blue rock. Indigenous peoples, which native Hawaiians are, have always maintained a connection to the energetic fabric of the universe. It is common for indigenous peoples to envision the creative process of the universe as a form of thought or mental process. Aloha is a case in point of this. It is common to have a source of creation that is plural, either because several entities participate in creation or because the process as it unfolds stems from a first principle, father, mother, or grandfather, grandmother. The agents of creation are seldom pictured as human, but are depicted instead as holy or animal-like or as forces of nature, such as wind or breath. Again, like aloha. This energy has power. And that power could be as simple as a cup of coffee. But it is not an old man with a beard. This concept perhaps resembles the Elohim of the Jewish Genesis, the plural form of Eloi, which is usually mistranslated as God as if it were singular. Indigenous peoples, like the Hawaiians' conception of creation, is more of a living process, resulting in a living universe in which a kinship exists between all things. All things are connected. And by the way, quantum physics proves this too. Mother Earth, or this big blue rock Gaia, is a living being, as are its waters and the sun as well. Makaha local Brian Kaolana, son of legendary Buffalo Kaolana, and also brother of ASP world longboard champion Rusty Kaolana, is a well-known Hollywood stunt coordinator. Hawaiian surfer, lifeguard, and waterman. Brian has said in how he defines aloha. Our background generating from Hawaii, whether by blood or by heart, means that tradition is at the heart of what we portray. These values are what we are. Respect the land. Respect the ocean. Respect your friends, neighbors, and whoever you're around. It's about flying the core values, and that's the message we want to spread to all in our extended Ohana. As a Howley team writer for C4 Waterman, the company Brian co-founded with Todd Bradley, it's this definition of aloha from Brian that I carry with me to this day. The real meaning of aloha in Hawaiian is that of love, peace, and compassion. It's the guidelines of how to live. A life of aloha is when the heart is so full, it is overflowing with the ability to influence others around you with your spirit. Saying aloha should come genuinely from the heart, as that is what it means, sincerity of the heart. Not to say it when you're angry or in a bad mood, just say it and feel it. The aloha spirit is what we should strive for in life and is a good guideline 
for treating people around you with love and compassion. At its core, aloha simply means love and everything that goes with it. Sympathy, kindness, compassion, and mercy. The best part of aloha is the more you express your love and compassion for yourself and those around you, the more it comes back to you. It sounds a lot like karma. Well, it kind of is. To live aloha is a daily reminder to be better to ourselves, the world around us, and to treat others with respect. So, here are five ways to live with aloha every day. Value and spend time in nature. Native Hawaiians have always had a deep reverence for the natural world and the energy that exists in all living things on this blue rock. Live in the present moment, and most important, appreciate it. Cultivate meaningful connections with family, friends, strangers, and yourself. Choose to see the good in everyone and everything. And last, lead with love. Always. Aloha is about giving more than you receive and being willing to show others kindness through action, even in the smallest forms. Eye contact, smiling, spontaneous gestures of generosity, and positive communication are standards of living and sharing aloha. Hawaii's first female lifeguard, women's world surfing champion, and queen of Makaha, the late Rel Sun, shared this about aloha. The aloha spirit is real simple. You give and you give and you give. And you give from here, the heart, until you have nothing else to give. It's the secret to a full and happy life. Aloha means we can recognize and appreciate the uniqueness and differences each of us bring to this blue rock. Honor and respect your family, friends, and all the people that pass through your life every day. Aloha does not pass judgment on others, as it always trusts, always hopes, and always protects. World-renowned Hawaiian waterman, Duke Kahanamoku's Creed of Aloha states, In Hawaii, we greet friends, loved ones, or strangers with aloha, which means with love. Aloha is the key word to the universal spirit of real hospitality, which makes Hawaii renowned as the world's center of understanding and fellowship. Try meeting or leaving people with aloha. You'll be surprised by their reaction. I believe it, and it is my creed. Aloha to you, Duke Peoa Kahanamoku. So remember, aloha has a ripple effect. Its deepest meaning teaches us to first love ourselves and then spread that love to others. Until next time, find peace, lead with love, and live Aloha.